Yes. Uh, can I share my PPT? Yes. Your number okay. is material student zero eight nine zero two. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Because what happened, ma'am? Okay. Thank you. So I start. In have. Okay. okay. Start presenting. So have ten minutes only. Seven plus three. Is it visible, ma'am? Yes, yes, visible. Okay. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Vikas Kumar Thakur. Here I am presenting my experimental work. My research title is Study the Effect of CO Nanoparticles on the Performance of Passive Solar Steel in Winter and Summer Season. Uh, dissolved min minerals are removed from saline or breakage water through solar distillation process. Solar distillation is completely dependent on renewable energy as no fossil fuel is required to operate the setup. Solar steel is a sustainable device that uses solar thermal energy to transform saline and impure water into fresh water and it provides quality water for personal and industrial use. Uh, working principle of solar is steel basically it's working on the greenhouse effect that means the transparent Glass cover allows the short wavelength and trans trap the long wavelength radiation inside the steel. Due to this, inside temperature of steel rises and evaporation of the water occurs. The vapor gets condensed and at the inner surface of glass cover and collect as distillate. Uh, objective of my work is uh, to experimentally analyze the performance of different tilt angle based solar steel in winter and summer weather condition. Different tilt angle based solar steel operate with plain water and copper oxide nanoparticles in winter and summer climate of India and they study its hourly variation of internal heat transfer coefficient and thermophysical properties. This is my experimental setup which installed above the mechanical branch of the MITS Gwalior in solar energy lab. Uh, the setups are constructed on three different tilt angle of 11 degree, 26 degree and 41 degree and the basin area of all setups are one meter square. And the experiment is performed in, in two clear day uh, in January and July 2021. Uh, the hourly experimental data is collected for 24 hours, starting from 7 a.m. to next morning 7 a.m. Uh, we considering two consider two different cases. In first day, the setups are operated with uh, plain water, and in second day, uh, the same setups are operated with nanoparticles, copper nanoparticles. And uh, uh, this is the nanofluid preparation. Uh, uh, by natural, uh, nano uh, nanoparticles have the hydrophobic properties. That means it's not soluble in the water. To make it soluble in the water and uh, hydrophilic properties, uh, some steps are adopted. Here, the first steps, uh, the nanoparticles are weighed on the weighing machine by weighing machine based on the concentration. In my experimental work, based on the literature, we choose the 0.05% of concentration of nanoparticles. And after that, it is pouring water and nanoparticle in the beaker. And this beaker properly mix the nanoparticles and water. The, mix, the magnetic stirrer effect are doing 15 to 20 minutes. And after that, the nanofluids are transferred in the conical flask and kept in the ultrasonic vibrator. Ultrasonic vibrator uh, gives the high vibration and high temperature of the nanoparticles. And due to the high vibration and temperature, the nanoparticles achieve the hydrophilic properties and uh, suspended in the waters after uh, till the 24 hours and ever. And finally, the nanofluids are ready to use in the setup. Here we can see that thermal conductivity of copper oxide is 40 watt per meter kelvin and water is 0 0.6 watt per meter kelvin the methodology the experiment value is used to calculate the internal heat transfer coefficient the convective heat transfer coefficient and evaporative heat transfer coefficient and regression analysis have been used to calculate the constant value of c and n result and discussion section here we can see that the figure a and, and figure b in figure A, we, uh, the solar radiation incident on the different angle of solar steel in winter season. We can see that 41 degree tilt angle receive maximum uh, solar radiation in both days, day one and day two in both cases, in compared to 11 degree and 26 degree. But in figure B, 
we can see that the so, lower angle receive maximum solar radiation as compared to 26 degree and 41 degree in summer season. This is why, because we, in, uh, in figure we can see that the position of the sun in the summer is away from the latitude. Hence, the lower angle is act as a normal direction. Due to the normal direction, the, the solar is still receive maximum solar radiation and higher angle transfer the uh, reflect the solar radiation in atmosphere. And in the winter season, we can see the position of sun is lower from the latitude. Hence, the higher angle is act as a normal direction and higher angle receive maximum solar radiation and lower angle re reflect the radiation in atmosphere. This is the reason why the 41 degree uh, tilt angle is receive maximum solar radiation in winter season and lower tilt angle 11 degree receive maximum solar radiation in winter season. Uh, sorry, uh, summer season. Here is the conductive heat transfer coefficient uh, for both summer and winter season for both cases. In figure A, we can see that the 11 de 41 degree receive maximum convective heat transfer coefficient as compared to 26 and 11 degree. And in figure B, 11 degree tilt angle receive maximum convective heat transfer coefficient compared to 26 degree and 41 degree. In table, we can see that in winter season at 41 degree tilt angle, copper oxide based solar is still achieved 2.47 watt per meter square degree centigrade and plain water received 1.75 in and in summer season at 11 degree tilt angle maximum 3.70 watt per meter square degree centigrade and 2.34 watt per meter square degree centigrade and this is the evaporation heat transfer coefficient uh, the same we can see that in the figure a the 41 degree uh, receive maximum uh, evaporative heat transfer coefficient in winter season and 11 degree tilt angle receive maximum evaporative heat transfer coefficient in summer season. Uh, we can see that in the table, copper oxide based solar is still achieved in winter season at 41 degree tilt angle, maximum convective evaporative heat transfer coefficient 65.18 watt per meter square degree centigrade and plain water achieved to 28.59 watt per meter square degree centigrade. And in summer season, uh, copper oxide with uh, solar is still achieved 